These are a reasonable approach to help identify who's involved in this gun violence. That's why the city is looking to install license plate readers to hopefully curb recent violence. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm McLeod Hegeman. And I'm Jessica Coons. Tonight, Urbana leaders asked for people's input, talking about their plan to install those readers at a town hall meeting with the NAACP. WCI3's Bryce Beeman is live in our newsroom. So, Bryce, talk us through what they discussed at tonight's meeting. Well, the city of Urbana not only asked for people's opinions, they also held a Q&A while also giving a presentation about the ALPRs so people have a better understanding of how they work. It's basically another tool that would be available to law enforcement to try to identify who's involved in the shootings. That would bring justice to the families. It would um, uh, hold people accountable and, again, just one investigative tool. Automatic license plate readers, or ALPRs, will be going up in parts of Urbana, placed in neighborhoods that experience more crime. The devices work by detecting motion and snapping a shot of a license plate. The city of Urbana and the NAACP held a town hall meeting asking for the public's feedback. We've got to look at long-term problems like poverty and education and lack of jobs and opportunities. All that is important for long-term solutions. But in the short term, we have got to do everything we can that's reasonable to try to interrupt this pattern of violence. But for some, they're concerned the devices could be harmful. There is an issue of violence. There is an uptick in gun violence. We can't be so desperate to find a solution that we end up um, going towards something that causes more harm. Stephanie Posey with the Urbana Champaign Independent Media Center says if plates are read wrong, it could impact an innocent family. Urbana Police Chief Brian Serafin answered, saying he would do more investigating before arresting someone based on their plate number. This really grew from requests from a city council member and members of the public, especially those who are living in the neighborhoods most impacted by the shootings. They wanted um, other tools. They were asking for, for video cameras and that sort of thing. But Posey says she wants to see the money used to pay for these to be used for other anti-violence resources. We could use that towards programs that are, and engagements that are already in the community that are doing amazing work. At the meeting, people also brought up privacy, and police said they will only be using readers to solve a case. You know, nothing invades your privacy like a bullet in your house. Getting and installing the ALPRs could cost around $50,000 for 20 units. The city is hosting another town hall meeting tomorrow. The information is on our website. In the newsroom, I'm Bryce Beamett, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Bryce, thank you. Several places in central Illinois have these cameras or are in the process of adding them. Rantoul and Decatur both have the ALPRs. Rantoul used them a few months ago to solve a crime. Champaign, Champaign County Sheriff's Office, and U of I Police are also looking at installing them.